Hugo back in action in the FA Trophy this weekend. What are your thoughts ahead of this one? Yeah, listen, it's a great competition, the FA Trophy, and um, it's, it's one we want to do well, and we've said that from the start. Um, so yeah, we're way to Bishop Stortford, and uh, you know, we've, we know them ish. You know, we know their management staff quite well. Um, be a tough game because you know they people will look at their league position. It's irrelevant. This is a one-off game of football. Anything can happen. You know, we've shown ourselves in, in other games in the other cup competition. We've done well in this season, so. Uh, we've got to approach the game as we would any other game, which we have done. Uh, our preparation stays exactly the same, our due diligence stays exactly the same. So uh, we've got one more session tomorrow, but yeah, listen, it's a, a great competition and we're really looking forward to the game. I know Tommy says very often, and I know you say very often, that you know we're only looking at the next game, but in cup football you do have to do that, don't you? You have to look at just your next opponents and that. So is, is, there, is there a difference in how you approach the cup games to the league games at all? No, it's, um, it's just the next game. Uh, Bishop's thought for the next opponent, and so uh, they're a team that we want to beat. No different to any other team we want to, play, you know, we want to beat, depending on who we're playing from week to week. So. Uh, nothing's changed. Uh, we've, we've had a good week on the training ground. We had a behind closed doors game on Tuesday. Uh, we played Hampton and Richmond. So a lot of the lads that weren't involved at the weekend at the Hawthorns, they got their minutes. So yeah, we're, we're in a good place and, and training was good this morning. And of course, we're coming into this one off of a fantastic weekend. It was brilliant, wasn't it, to see all those fans in the away end. And, and yeah. we're hoping that that can continue, can't aren't we? Yeah, this would be great if those that float uh, keep coming, keep backing us. And the ones that uh, keep are you know, here every week. They keep coming as well, and it's uh, it's an amazing feeling. I know for the boys and us as the staff. When you walk out, and you know there's a lot of Aldershot fans there, and they're singing their hearts out and getting behind the boys, and uh, it really, really helps us. So um, please keep coming, and please keep backing us. You know, there's a long way to go, and there's a lot to play for. In that game, of course, we were the team in the lower division. We now have the opposite of that, where we're playing playing a team in the lower division on this weekend. Is, is there any danger of complacency or anything in the squad? No chance. Um, you know, that's something that you know we, we we've not had to speak about it. I think the way I look at it is that when you step back onto the training pitch, if you can just see how the players are in terms of their own intensity and, uh, and what they're like in training and there'd be no different this week to what they were last week so um, they'll look at this as a competition that we, we hopefully can go a bit further in um, we know what we want to achieve this season and the players the players are good lads and I can't see them being complacent and, and if you look at the other way as well we've got players in our changing room that wouldn't let that happen anyway let alone the staff so you've got some really senior pros in there that no, no I can't see that happening no. there'll be no complacency in the in the dugout, the opposite dugout is obviously a former colleague of yours and, and Tommy's in, yeah, in, in yeah. Mark Hughes. And yeah. but there, I mean, there won't be much of a danger of him knowing how we're going to play, is there? Because if if anything, Zane spent the whole of last season, so we can ask him, can't we? <laughs> uh, to be fair, they, they, there's been a bit of a turnover of players there. So look, you know, me and Tommy, we love Mark Hughes, and um, but between three o'clock and five o'clock, he'll say exactly the same thing. You know, he's the enemy. But come five o'clock, whatever the outcome. Uh, I'm sure we'll have half a shanty with him and, and, and the gaffer Steve as well. So, um, regardless of what happens on Saturday, you know we, we hope they uh, can get themselves out of the predicament and we wish them well. 